Hi guys, today is 27th October 2018 and this is Daily Current Affairs brought to you by Neo IES. And our topics are Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016, Impress and Anthrax, Senkaku Island and Leoncourt Rocks. On MapEdu program, we have Ropar, Harike and Kanchli and these three are the wetlands of Punjab which, which are included in the Ramsar list. And finally, PQRS, that is Previous Christian Erosion Series. And our very first topic is Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016. We know that the issue of illegal migrant is an issue of a growing concern all over the world. We also have some illegal migrants or migrants from the our neighboring countries and those migrants are the persecuted minorities in our neighboring countries of Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. So, India also hosts some illegal migrants or migrants from our neighboring countries and they are the persecuted minorities of the of these respective nations. And in, in Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan, Hindu, Sikh, Jain, Parsi Christians are the minorities and they come to India and we consider them as the persecuted minorities. Recently, the Union Home Ministry directed seven states to accept online applications. Seven states, Union Home Ministry directed seven states to accept online applications in order to grant citizenship to the persecuted minorities. And Home Ministry gave the powers to collectors of seven states that are Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, UP and Delhi to grant citizenship to these persecuted minorities. So, we have four kind of or four ways of uh, obtaining Indian citizenship. One is by birth, descent, registration and the final one is naturalization. So, uh, if a foreigner needs to obtain the Indian citizenship, he need to go through the naturalization procedure. So, these persecuted minorities are considered as for foreigners. Uh, so, they have to go through the naturalization procedure in order to obtain Indian citizenship. And this naturalization is uh, determined under the section 5 and 6 of Citizenship Act 1955. And I already told you about the bill. It is a Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 and it is introduced in the Lok Sabha in July 15, 2016. And the main motive of this bill is to amend the Citizenship Act 1955. I already told you. India provides citizenship, India is ready to provide or India is going to provide citizenship to the illegal migrants who are from Afghanistan, Pakistan and Bangladesh. And we categorize them as the persecuted minorities because they belong to the various sect of Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Parsi and Christians. But in countries like Pakistan, the Muslims sects like Shia and Ahmadiyas are also persecuted or the Muslim sects like Shias and Ahmadiyas who also face persecution in Pakistan. But these Muslim sects are out of the purview of uh, our citizenship amendment bill because we consider non-Muslim sects in the particular act. And I, I already told you they acquire citizenship by means of naturalization. A normal procedure involves uh, for naturalization a person need to stay here or uh, a person need to reside here for continuous 11 years. But we are diluting this provision or we are reducing this provision in order to get easily citizenship to the, those persons. We are reducing it to 6 years. So, normally by, for obtaining citizenship by means of naturalization, a person need to stay in India for 11 years. But for this special case, we are reducing the term by 6 years. And uh, this is the main news that is uh, by amending the citizenship pact, we are giving citizenship to the persecuted minorities who are Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Christians from the countries of Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. So, we need to compare this news with the recent issue of NRC. NRC means the National Register of Citizens in India. National Register of Citizens of India and it mainly includes the names of Indian citizens of Assam and uh, the amendment Act or Amendment Bill 2016 includes a religious configuration or includes a distinguished migrant depending on religion. And Muslims are out of the purview of that particular act where rest all the minority communities in Pakistan and other countries are in. But in the case of NRC, 
there is no distinguish in the migrants in case of religions okay in the amendment act we consider depending on the religion or we uh, categorize them as the persecuted minority but in the case of nrc issue we does not distinguish migrants on the basis of religion we consider we considering deporting anyone okay in the case of nrc issue we 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 will consider to deport anyone who has entered to the state of assam illegally after march 24 1971 so in in the in the citizenship amendment bill we consider on the religious lines but in the case of nrc we do not consider religious lines we deport anyone who entered to the state illegally after 24th march 1971 so these are the basic difference between nrc and the citizenship amendment bill 2016 and our next news is impress the ministry of human resources development hrd is going to launch a new scheme called impress impress is i m p r e s s in order to promote a policy research in the social science the main intention of these to is to promote the policy research in social science and impress is an abbreviation of impactful policy research in social science and the main objective of impress is to identify and fund the research proposals in social science and the scheme will be implemented at a total cost of 414 crore till march 2021 and the agency for implementation of impress is the icssr that is indian council of social science and research so impress is a scheme implemented by the or introduced by the ministry of hrd and the main intention is to fund the research proposals in social science and we gave an outlay an outlay amount of 414 crore and the agency behind the implementation of this impress is the icssr that is indian council of social science and research and our next news is about senkaku island and lian court rocks dispute so this is in news because the chinese president and japanese prime minister recently signed an agreement for the joint development of gas fields in the east china sea this was a recent initiative but earlier the the project was this project was stalled because of the disputed territory of senkaku or diao so this was recently announced and earlier the project was stalled in 2008 because of the dispute in case of senkagu island and we need to know, know about the senkagu and diao island senkagu or diao islands are a group of uninhabited islands in the east china sea you can see the location east china sea senkagu or diao islands and it is in the east eastern part of the china northeastern part of the taiwan and in the west part of the japan okay and now the senkaku islands are controlled by japan currently this islands is controlled by japan and which called them as the senkaku islands but china also claims it sovereignty over this particular island and china claim the island are diao island so both names are same for a particular island japan currently it is administered or controlled by japan and japan called this island as senkaku islands where china claims sovereignty over this island and it it claims that it is uh, the name is diao islands uh, other than china taiwan is also claims sovereignty over this island okay so a tripartite struggle between china taiwan and japan over the senkaku islands but officially or currently it is controlled by the japan so for any dispute there should be some reasons the main reason regarding this dispute is that senkago islands is a rich source of oil and gas reserves under its seabed that's why these two countries china and taiwan are claiming for japan's senkago islands and another news we need to focus on is the dogdo takeshima islands dogdo takeshima islands is in the sea of japan you can see it here dogto takeshima islands is in the sea of japan and both south korea and japan are claiming for this particular island okay the south korea and japan are claiming for this particular island uh, it is named as the dogto takeshima islands and the other name of this particular island is the lion coat rocks it is also termed as the lion coat rocks so we we uh, today we learned two disputed territories 
one is the senkaku island and the other is the dogdo takeshima island senkaku island dispute is between japan china and taiwan and dogdo takeshima island dispute is between the japan and south korea and our next news is about andrax andrax is in news because some persons in andhra pradesh were suspected to have andrax symptoms okay some persons in the andhra pradesh specifically near chittu have suspected to have the symptoms of andrax so we need to focus what is andrax andrax is a serious infectious disease which occur both in the human and animals it is an infectious disease or infectious illness which occur in both animal and humans the disease is caused by a bacterium and it is named as the bacillus anthrax and the anthrax disease is endemic to asia southern europe sub saharan africa and parts of australia also the most severe form of human anthrax is the inhalation or pulmonary anthrax so anthrax is recently in news because some villages in the chitur chitur area have symptoms of anthrax and chitur is in the andhra pradesh and we need to know about the spreading and spreading of the anthrax and also its prevention so anthrax bacteria can survive in any environment in forming spores spore is a term to be noted so anthrax bacteria can survive in any environment by forming spores spore is nothing but a rounded resistant form adopted by bacteria to live in the adverse conditions so it is a resistant form adopted by the particular bacteria in order to live in adverse conditions so if a bacteria um, becomes a spore it can live in any condition or any environmental condition and the spreading of anthrax is mainly through touching inhaling and also ingesting the anthrax spores and the solution or the prevention the solution for anthrax is a antibiotic treatment so by by imbibing uh, or by using antibiotics we can prevent the anthrax or the solution for anthrax is the antibiotic treatment the anthrax was uh, was in news during 2000 uh, the early 2000s because it acted as a or it was used as a biological weapon mainly in us through males the powdered anthrax were sent as biological weapons uh, almost in 2001 so now our we have our next session map aid program and first uh, today we are dealing with the wetlands of punjab and the first wetland is harike this is the harike wetland and harike wetland is a wetland which is declared as a ramsar site in 1990 and the formation of harike wetland is by the creation of dams across the confluence of river bias and satluj so when a dam is constructed in the confluence of bias and satluj a harike wetland was created and it is endemic to the or indus dolphins which were which were we we hope we thought that it was extinct but we recently found the indus dolphins in the harike wetland and harike wetland is also an home to the indus gharials okay so harike is a wetland which is declared as a ramsar site in 1990 it is formed by the confluence of the creation of dams between the rivers uh, bias and satluj and it is a site of the indus dolphins and indus gharials and our next wetland is the kanjli wetland this is the kanjli wetland and it is declared as a ramsar site in 2002 and this kanjli wetland is a man made wetland and it is also constructed by creating dams in the bian river okay and the kanjli wetland is in a, is in the bian river it was developed by or it was constructed by creating dams in the bian river and bian river which is a tributary of the river bias so uh, this is the kanjli wetland and our third and final wetland in punjab is the ropar wetland ropar wetland is declared as a ramsar site in 2002 it is a man made fresh water riverine wetland it is a man made fresh water riverine wetland which is located in the foothills of sibalik in the satluj river so ropar island uh, ropar wetland is a man made fresh water riverine wetland and it is located in the foothills of sibalik in the river satluj and our next session is the pqrs in which we have a question from 2011 prelims on the section environment 
and the question is the 2004 tsunami made people realize that the mangroves can serve as a reliable safety hedge against coastal calamities and how do mangroves function as a safety hedge and the option a is the mangrove swamps separate the human settlements from the sea by a wide zone in which people neither live or nor venture out option b the mangroves provides both food and medicines in which people are in need or after any natural disaster and also option c the mangroves trees are tall and with dense canopies and serve as an excellent shelter during the cyclone or tsunami option d the mangrove trees do not get uprooted by storms and tides because of their extensive roots this was a very bit lengthy question and the option the right answer is d that is the mangrove trees do not get uprooted by the storms and tides because of their extensive roots so this question mainly emphasizes on the features of mangroves and the answer is d so we need to learn some of the features of the mangroves the mangroves reduces the tidal floods and also reduce the inundation of coastal lands and mangroves also decrease the soil erosion mangroves also support a numerous number of flora avifauna and wildlife also it provides a favorable environment for breeding and spawning and rearing of various fishes okay mangroves control or reduces the tidal floods and uh, decreases the inundation of land and it prevents the soil erosion and mangroves support numerous flora and avifauna and wildlife and also it provides a favorable environment or feeding ground for feeding and spawning and rearing ground for the fishes and one of the other feature of mangrove is that it provides numerous employment opportunities to the local communities and augments their livelihood so uh, mangroves provides numerous employment opportunities to the local communities so the question was about the uh, one of the feature of mangrove we dealt with some of the features of the mangrove and the answer is option d that's all for today for detailed discussion and explanations you can download the pdf which is available in the description section thank you so much for watching please like share comment and subscribe our channel good night